In the following video, we'll look at how you can use Chargeify's invoicing feature as an alternative to reoccurring credit card payments. Chargeify supports two payment collection methods, automatic and invoice billing. By default, Chargeify uses the automatic method and builds your customers' credit cards on each renewal date. Invoice billing allows you to bill your customers manually by sending them an invoice when a payment is due. This includes any one-time charges or mid-period component allocation increase charges. No credit card payment is processed, although a customer can make a payment with a credit card to settle an open invoice. Invoice billing is a great alternative for customers who do not want to pay automatically via a credit card or when credit terms are extended for larger customer relationships. You can enable invoice billing under the Settings submenu under the Config dropdown. The default option determines which payment collection method is used when customers sign up via the public sign-up pages. The collection method can be set to either option when creating a subscription via the Business Dashboard. When you choose to enable the invoicing feature, you can specify whether invoice billing is an option but not the default, invoice billing is an option and is the default, or invoice billing is the only option for subscriptions. You can also add a title to the invoice, specify the invoice start offset number so the invoice number in Chargeify is consistent with your accounting system, define the invoice payment terms such as net 30 or net 60, and add notes which will appear on the invoice. Some merchants like to include the tax ID number or other identifying information regarding their customer relationship. You can enable invoice emails to customers. When on, you can enable or disable $0 invoices, attach a PDF of the invoice to the email, include a credit card payment link in the invoice, and add your logo to the invoice as well. It is easy to manage your outstanding invoices in Chargeify. When invoice billing is turned on, an invoice menu appears under the billing drop-down menu. You can view a full list of the outstanding invoices, search by the invoice number, customer name, and the invoice state. You can click the Actions button next to the invoice to enter a payment, pay with a credit card, add a charge, add a credit, or archive the invoice if it is no longer relevant. To apply a payment to an invoice, click the Enter Payment. You can also access the invoices for a specific subscriber within the respective subscription summary page. When recording the payment, you can enter a full or partial payment, noting the payment method, payment details, and a memo if applicable. As an additional note, you can switch a customer from invoice to automatic billing whenever you like, simply by navigating to their subscription summary page and changing the billing method here. We hope this information was helpful. For additional details on invoices, please review our help documentation at help.chargeify.com. Or with specific questions, please reach out to our support team at support at Chargeify.com. Thanks for using Chargeify and have a great day.